Welcome one and all to the first ever Plushy Bowl. This is sure to be an exciting game today between the V-Boys and the G-Locks. The V-Boys are favored in today's game, touting the number one offense in the league and coming in on an undefeated season so far. But will they be able to overcome their opponent, the underdog, the G-Locks? The G-Locks have the number one defense in the league right now, but will it be enough to stop the steamroller that is the V-Boys? The G-Locks seem pretty confident at the coin toss, the G-Locks win it, and they choose to defer and kick the ball to the V-Boys, looking to test their defensive prowess on the field right at the start. During the V-Boys opening drive, quarterback Terry Winfield exploits a crack in the G-Lock armor, finding his man William Carter, who would slip past defender number 40, Mark Thompson, leaving him with an open field and a clear path to a touchdown. This is Carter's 14th touchdown this season, and there's no telling how many more he's going to get. He is the number one receiver in the league right now. If you let this man break free, there is no stopping him. He is a speed demon. Now to the G-Locks drive. They manage to march down the field, but eventually are held to a field goal where Dylan Rainier manages to put some points on the board for the G-Locks. With the ball now back in Winfield's hands, he's hoping to continue the momentum of their previous drive. Unbeknownst to him, number 40 Mark Thompson's looking for a little bit of payback, and he's wanting that pick six. A little bit of pressure on the quarterback. He may have to roll out of the pocket on this one. Only time will tell. It's unfortunate that at this time we're getting reports of a nuclear device in the facility and we're gonna need everyone to evacuate. And as things go in the universe, eventually total nuclear annihilation just seems to happen. Today's game was called on account of the apocalypse. So, I don't know what you all thought of that, but I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, I'm only slightly crazy for going through all that, but wow. I, I, when I saw the shelter and I saw the floor there, I had two thoughts come to mind. The first thought was, oh, I can rebuild my little putt-putt golf area. My second thought was, wait a minute, that is a football field for plushies. Oh, I gotta make this a thing. I need to build plushy football. And it started out with all the plushies on the field, and then I was like, well, I need somewhere to put them, like all the audience. I'm gonna have to build a stadium around them. And then it just kind of snowballed out of control. And I think it worked out. I think it was well worth it. You'll have to hop down in the comments and let me know. But I think my insanity paid off this time. So if you're wondering what the score may have been if it wasn't for, you know, the apocalypse and everything. So, number 40. He would have got that pick. Alright, it would have happened. But it wouldn't have been a pick six. He would have got it. And then the V-Locks, or the G-Locks, would have been held to a field goal. Putting the score at seven to six. And then the apocalypse would have happened anyway. And the, the scoreboard would say 76 because ha ha ha, why not? But I didn't want to really go through and show double field goal because that's not super exciting. So that's how that all played out. But I put a ton of thought into all this. If you're wondering right now, are the pumpkins part of the audience? Or are they like the cardboard stand-ups, you know, for social distancing? Well, the world may never know. It's whatever you want it to be. Either way, I think 
I think the build turned out pretty darn good. But look at this. Let me open my build menu. Look at how much of my budget was used on nothing but this little area. It is insane. Yeah. Who would have thought that you could almost completely max a budget just building a tiny little plushy uh, football match? Well, apparently it's a thing. But, hey, it was well worth it. We got to enjoy the plushy bowl. One thing I really like about this build is the fact that I can just go move the players around whenever I feel like it to kind of switch up the game and, and change the build slightly. Plus, down the road we might get other plushies that would work with this so I could swap out teams and it'd just be kind of like a living and breathing build that slowly changes over time. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please remember to like, sub, and share. Later.